Ta-da! Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Butterfly Square Garden is the name that I guess we're going by today. So as you can see, this is a little reply response to what we did in the last video, which was hang up all of these chrysalises. We've got a habitat for the butterflies over here that and over there it's the same thing as you can see from the camera the butterfly started coming out and I wanted to get it on video but at the same time um it would have been like a two-hour video for like 30 seconds of footage and that wasn't really gonna be fun so I just kind of put my energy into keeping them alive so I'm being careful because they do get out and fly around. I'm not ready for that, but uh, as you can see, oop, bad lighting. See, that's why I didn't do that before. But uh, there is a ton of butterflies flying around in this enclosure. Um, and the best I can do is get a couple of angles, but I think we need more cameras, everybody. Uh-huh. So, oops, let's get that shut off so that it doesn't drain the battery. There we go. But I can still see from the feed that it's still there. So, um, taking care of caterpillars isn't really that complicated. You just make sure that they eat the food. Uh, and that there's enough and that it's temperature controlled. They need fresh air and, you know, don't let them overheat. It's just like uh, taking care of a little puppy. They uh, are really flying around because they're in the light and usually the sun is setting at this time and I wanted to get a video at the perfect time, which usually drives me crazy because the sun's in my eyes. But uh, it's really perfect to put them in the window with with some full sun um, because they like to sun themselves just like little reptiles or birds oh my goodness look they're mate they're trying to mate right now you can see the little boy is going after the girl right now I uh, maybe I don't know but uh that's what that behavior is you can see um wow they've literally been that guy's like two days old and it usually takes like five to seven days for them to start uh, you know what, even if he does mate, I'm going to go ahead and say he's not sexually mature because I haven't given them ba -ba -da -da, the Gatorade yet. I've only been spraying with water. So, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to keep you guys updated. Uh, <laughs> so that's why I'm explaining everything. If anyone is interested in keeping butterflies at home, uh, I mean, it is good to do releasing. I know a lot of people release them. Uh, there's so many up there. I just wish I could get you a better view, but the light was so bad. I tried to show you. Um, but all the good guys are like up top. <laughs> so I'll show you more on the way out. But yeah, uh, butterflies are uh, different than caterpillars because... They don't eat solid food. The caterpillars I was giving um, burdock leaves, which are over there. I had burdock and I also had carrots for them and then eventually a professional. Sorry, I'm trying to get everything in the screen. There's so much stuff. It's involved. Uh, professional painted lady diet, which is really just soy and wheat. I looked it up. I thought it was going to be like sunflower and all of these things, but it's literally just soy, wheat, agar, and preservatives. Like, that's literally it. Um, and agar is a seaweed extract, which is a vegan um, gelatin. So yeah, uh, that's a future video because um, getting a pic a cake pop maker delivered so I'm gonna take their food and make it into a cake pop and then assemble it on a tree uh, of a lollipop display so I'm really excited about that uh, because that is the hard part about caterpillars is there's a lot of poop and when they're on a leaf it's fine because the poop falls and they don't think about it but in captivity 
it actually turns into cleaning up a lot. Uh, it's a lot of cleaning up. Uh, you can see the butterflies when they do come out of the chrysalis. They have extra fluids um, and they just literally spray that out. So that's what all of the red tie-dye stuff is. It's not the Gatorade. <clears throat> Back to the Gatorade. <laughs> um, uh, butterflies, when they do come out of the chrysalis, they, they spend the first day zipping up their chrysalis because it starts out as two and they furl and unfurl it and then eventually it zips up and then they have one tube that is their proboscis. Um, so they don't really drink the first day and then the second day I started spraying the whole I, I put paper towels in there and I spray it with water and if they drink, they drink, and if they don't, they don't. I don't go crazy about it. But now that we're three days in, and there's a whole bunch of butterflies, uh, we're going to do something exciting. And it's what I did last year. Um, I got painted ladies. I just went online, and they're the easiest and cheapest. So I got like 45 painted ladies, and they came in these little cups and they had prepared food so you didn't even have to open it up or anything they ate the food and then they transformed um, into the chrysalis and then you open it up and you hang it up and then they come out so that's what I did and I had you know 40 butterflies flying around and I didn't know how to feed them at first I had tried so many things um, Orbeez was a really good one the the water balls but even then um, they tend to get sticky that's why spraying Gatorade also doesn't work because they stick to everything. Um, I had a little, what is it, like syringe and for the other butterflies over there, um, there wasn't enough. Oh man, I'm all over the place. We're training our butterflies. I'm sorry everybody. This is how I should have started the video. Um, now that our butterflies came out, we're going to be making this butter hummingbird feeder we're going to adapt it so that the butterflies can access it because um, it's kind of just unnatural for them. They don't really understand. If you only had one or two butterflies and you were to put them in with something like this, they would have to be really smart in order to understand that the flowers is where the food is and this is the Gatorade is the food. I'm talking about liquid food for them. Um, Drinking water isn't good enough because they need the sugar, but then you can't just give them sugar water because they need so the males need salts in order to produce all of the things that they need to produce in order to pass on their genes um, when they mate. Otherwise, the eggs that the females lay won't be active, um, and we want active eggs so that we get more butterflies. Uh, and caterpillars and chrysalises and everything. So, um, yeah, if you don't have enough, if you've only got one butterfly, I would recommend just putting it on a paper towel and spraying the whole paper towel with water. And it's funny because they are pretty water resistant. Like if you get them wet, unless you drown them, they're going to be fine. In fact, it's good for them. It's like a little shower. So they like to sunbathe and they like to bathe, bathe. Um, another fun little fact is that butterflies can taste with their feet. So um, when they land on plants, things like basil and sage, it's like they love that stuff. Um, so yeah, if you, s I, I was using a syringe filling it up with Gatorade and then I was injecting it onto the paper towels. Um, there was a butterfly. I have another one over there, butterfly enclosure, but uh, there's way more in here. That's That was second gen and this is third gen. So I'm going to zoom out and show what it looks like when we're all done. But right now it's just an empty enclosure filled with the butterflies with the paper towels on the bottom. And I was spraying the paper towels twice a day, once in the morning, once in the afternoon, night, like dinner time. Um, and I mean, if there is, if I have the time, I'll, I'll like spray them individually and make sure that I get everyone wet just because I don't want them to de dehydrate. That's like the one thing that will kill your butterflies faster. Um, otherwise, if you take care of them, they will live for 
a month at least at least a month um i've got three weeks four weeks going on with these guys um and there's the full range of activity i see them flying around they're doing their mating dance they're sunning um <clears throat> but we really want them to um take to the food and what i keep trying to say is now that we have what is there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirty forty fifty sixty seventy eighteen there's eighteen in there right now um and we still have a complete wall we hung up fifty eight but then um I have all these other enclosures filled with the caterpillars and they just climb to the top and you know th that's like their little station so they this is unnatural like obviously you could never get all the caterpillars to line up and turn into a chrysalis that would be magic um, I did that I hung that up in the last video so go check that out uh, yeah Again, I wish I could have showed you them coming out. Maybe if I make a video in the morning in front of this, they generally tend to come out at like between 6 in the morning and 10 in the morning, and I get up at like 9. So again, it would be a boring video, but it's fun watching them feed, so that's what we really, really want to do. So what do you need in order to set up a butterfly station? You need chrysalises. That's a good place to start. And in order to have a chrysalis, you need a caterpillar. And, and to get a caterpillar, you need an egg, which also means you need a butterfly. But in order to get the butterfly to lay the egg, you need a host plant. So from a host plant, of course, you get from a seed. And from the seed, you, you need dirt. So it's actually a bit of an involved process. You can't see me tap involved process uh, <laughs> so yeah um, this is milkweed which is good for monarchs um, which are those are painted ladies but uh, here's my monarch do 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 from last year I have several see I like showing them off here are my monarchs. Uh, there were nine from last year, so I gave one away. Um, but I still have the rest. Those are my monarchs. And I didn't have them for the last video, but I do have them for this video. Check out um, two of my three. I'll show you, and I'm going to ask you, do you know what they are? Do you know what these are? Can you see them against me or something? Um... That is a swallowtail, and that's a female swallowtail. That's a male. I kind of like the males. I don't know which one. I, it, I'm not going to judge. Don't judge, Jason. One is yellower and one is bluer, and the male has scent flaps so that he can smell the female. Um, that's why I'm excited. I'm growing milkweed in the backyard, and it's like the male is going to smell what no the female is going to smell the milkweed oh goodness uh it's happening is it happening um he's going for it that guy right there um he's trying to mate with her so it's literally he's literally been out for like two days but I didn't give him the Gatorade so even if he were to mate he can't fertilize her so that's why I got to hurry up and make this video. Um, I literally, uh, my whole life is like oriented around these little guys now. Um, gonna here, let's put you, Ooh, that's a good, a, a nice little spot for now. Um, no, it didn't even see they're done. The females like, no, thank you. But, uh, sorry, I'm moving you guys around. They're doing a little mating dance. They're flying around. Isn't that cute? I love butterflies so much. Like, you think you guys like butterflies for watching this video? I literally stare at them for hours and hours. The caterpillars, too. So, um, I counted. I did all of that stuff. We have a whole bunch of butterflies. 
chances are much higher that a smart one will eventually find the food. And I haven't given them Gatorade. They have just had water. So if we make it adaptable, eventually their little proboscis, they walk around just poking at everything. Eventually they will poke the hole and they will hit jackpot. They will be like, oh my God. Like, have you ever seen a kid who is hopped up on sugar? They will go crazy. So I'm really excited. Um, I'm going to get that on video and show you guys. Um, so, yeah, you just open it up and pour in the Gatorade. I usually water it down, but this time I'm not. I really want them to, to get the sugar rush. And remember, that's what food is all about. Like, that's how learning happens, um, especially with my little puppy, Susie, who only cares about food. Um, so, yeah, Gatorade is good because it's it's got sugar and the necessary salts for the males. Um, this is actually an old an old prototype that I use because um, I think I got it at the dollar store or maybe I ordered them online. It's important for, for the actual flower to look like a flower. Um, some of them are red on top of red, and it just doesn't work as well. Uh, what else is, was there to say? It had a ring around it for the, the hummingbird to perch on, which hummingbirds don't even do. They like to fly when they're feeding, but that's another thing. So they had a little perch on it, and um, the butterflies couldn't land on it because it's plastic and there's nothing to grab onto. They have little like crab hooks that they like to hook onto stuff. That's why these guys like thistles, which is like Velcro. They love Velcro. And um, I used Velcro last year and um, I, I turned it into like a little spiral and it was like a little flower and it worked really well. But the last time I used it, it started curling up and it, it got all distracting. Um, so I just, I literally want to have the butterflies in their little, and kind of cram them all in there together. Because again, the more that there is of them together in one space, the much higher it is that one of them will find the food. And then if one of them finds the food, they'll keep using it. And then the butterflies, which are pretty social creatures, will copy each other and they'll all start drinking the food. So if you ever want to train a butterfly to do something, um, the easiest way is to have another butterfly teach it how to do that. Uh, so how do you teach the first butterfly how to do it? Maybe that's that. <gasps> I think some of them got, I think one of them made it already. Are you kidding me? Um, if they're still stuck after another couple of minutes. Look at that. I can't believe that just freaking happened. No, it doesn't matter. Um, I'll show you. I can't keep getting distracted. Uh, even if they did made it, it doesn't matter because, again, we got to get that gator in there right now. So what am I doing? I took a normal plate. This is a paper plate. And here's my goal. I want to basically have... I need to have like a ramp so that the butterflies can just walk right up to the flowers. Um, and in the last prototype I used Velcro in a circle. It was just a lot of work. So I'm thinking I can do it by uh, using less stuff. So I did use um, the plate. That is important. This is where I'm going to have you guys skip forwards to if you're just starting. Um, this is how you make a butter a hummingbird feeder into a butterfly feeder. Uh, I'm taking a plate and I'm just cutting out the middle so that we can, you know, put it on top and make a little wheelchair ramp. Not that they're in wheelchairs. I don't know. I just, things have to be accessible. Sometimes a butterfly's wings won't inflate correctly and you know they they can have just as full lives as the butterflies with perfect wings and um in fact some of the longest living butterflies I've ever seen are 
I, I wouldn't say often, but like, I see it a lot of the time. Um, especially because they can't fly around, so they so they just walk right up and they feed. And um, I don't know. So that's garbage. We don't need it anymore. Drink green tea. It's good for your health. Oh my goodness, we're 20 minutes in, and I've just been telling you my story the whole time. So yeah, we need to make a little ramp, and I, I just use a paper plate because it's like easy and cheap. This stuff is all going to get dirty and go in the garbage anyway. Um, so does it fit? Yes, it fits. Okay, so here is the deal. Oh man, I guess you didn't really see it, um, but yeah. So now the butterfly can literally just tippy toe right up there onto this and start feeding um yeah i mean that's literally all there is to it i think i'm going to use a paper towel because they can grab onto it really easily um and it's a uniform thing that wouldn't distract them from the flowers so that is what I'm going to do. Um, I also have duct tape to tape this down. I probably don't even need to. Like, look, that... I think I did that really well this time. Um, that's, like, not going anywhere. I'm still going to tape it down, just because. Why not? Um, so, what else is there left to do? I mean, we've got pretty much everything. And then I'm just going to slip it in. And give it some time. I mean, you can't force... You can force them. That's kind of how I started, but it's it's involved because you need to grab them by the wings and then you need to take a toothpick or some people even use a sewing needle and the proboscis is rolled up and you stick it in and you unroll it just like in Nightmare Before Christmas, like that weird like unrolling hill that he walks down and you pull it out and then you've got to put it where you want them to drink, which could be like on a sponge or, you know, paper towels. So can I do this without spilling is the question. Doesn't matter. Ah, la, 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 la. I just got, um, I'm sure any kind of Gatorade would work, but the kind that I got is fruit punch. I wanted red. I just really wanted a red one. Okay, so um, make sure your, you know, butterfly feeder, I'm calling it a butterfly feeder now, even though it was a hummingbird feeder. Make sure it's clean, and then you snap it in just like that. Made in USA, www.firstnature.net, not dishwasher safe. I did not know that. Do not put it in the dishwasher, everybody. Wash it by hand, which is what I've been doing, um, which is good. All right, so now I'm going to flip it around and bubble, bubble, bubble. It bubbles down um, and it comes out and it, it's like a little dish. And now if I were to tip it, it'll drip out um, because there's a little well in there so that they can stick their little... Um, proboscis in there and it'll be like a little straw you know they're just that's how they work it's just like a flower it's the exact same thing um, I'm thirsty green tea so um, what else is there to say I mean nothing else I probably could have put more in when there's more butterflies and we st I mean this thing will last for weeks I had butterflies and I didn't even have to open, if I didn't want to, I didn't even have to open the enclosure because it's like self-contained. It's the best thing ever. Um, but again, with the last butterf butterflies, they weren't understanding how to use it and I didn't like feel like training them because I was, there's always the risk of, of harming them. So you just want to leave them alone as much as possible. Um, so that translated to me, like, spray, 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 spraying everything, all making them wet. 
Um, I try to use a little as little tape as possible because anything sticky is ba basically like a death sentence. Um, pretty much anything. <laughs> it's so weird. Uh, they they just they're perishable. They're like flowers or leaves. You know, that's just what happens. So I rip uh, the duct tape into these little tiny pieces. Um, oh, goodness. I don't really want to do that this time, though. Yeah, I don't want to do that this time because, again, I want everything to be as simple as possible. I want this to be the most attractive thing. Um in the enclosure. So here's what I'm going to do. Oh, I'm so happy that I cut that out. I could probably even get it a little bit closer, but I'll do, I'll, you know, I'll remember this for next time because things just keep getting easier. I mean, they don't, yeah, they do. They keep getting easier because you remember what worked and what didn't work and then you make it better and then you just keep doing that. Um, so some t I guess things take time, but they'll get better. Oh my god, I sound like such a dope. Um, so I'm kind of making this up as I go along, I guess. Uh, if I were to cut a little hole out, I don't think this is going to really work. I'm not sure how this is going to be good. Oh, that's nice, cutting out is a circle but it's in half that's nice um a do 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 i just want to make it as simple as possible just walk right on up but also be able to um survive a little bit of water because we're gonna spray it it's gonna get wet does that work so, if I were to lay this in the enclosure, I would probably have to put something down here and here. I don't know. I don't think that's really working. Is it? It's not. I'd need a bigger circle. But that's good to know. Okay, so. I need to do this again with a little bit of a bigger circle. <clears throat> so, you know, it's funny because... Um, Sometimes you learn the most from other people's mistakes. It's kind of ironic because you think that you need to, oh, I need to go to college and I need to have the best professor who knows infinite things about everything. It's got to be Socrates or, you know, Albert Einstein or, or whatever. But a lot of the time you just need someone saying like, look here, uh, this is what I did and it didn't work. So like, don't do what I did or you know you don't have to be cynical it could be like you know learn from my experience kind of sitch okay so we're gonna make a little bit of a bigger circle and I'm doing two paper towels because we want it to be extra absorbent so sorry this is a little off screen but just look at the butterflies for one second while I'm talking. And a snip, 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 a snip, 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 a snip. Oh, crap. I forgot to make it bigger. <laughs> oh, goodness. Let's make it a little bigger. Struggling. No, it's okay. So what's going on with you guys in your life? Got any uh, boyfriends? Got any girlfriends? <laughs> I'm just messing. Um, butterflies, as long as there's nothing for them to like get stuck under um, or stuck to, they're pretty much like easy to take care of. How's that? That is nice. That's much better. Um, the only problem is we want it to be held down just a little bit. 
And I don't think I can do that. I think I'm just going to have to wet it down. And then when I wet it, hopefully um, that will be enough. If I were to make a diamond, would that be better or worse? Do, 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 do. Um, whatever. Okay, so that is how we assembled the butterfly feeder. I do, ugh, I really want to kind of like, what do I want? What am I trying to say? You know, if I put tape down, that would distract the butterflies because this needs to look like a flower. And I, I just, I don't want to do anything else. So maybe that's that. Maybe that's the end of it. Let's see what would it look like if I wet it just a little bit. I mean, like, that's not the worst. I just feel like if I put anything on top of it, it's just another thing to distract the butterflies and they can get stuck under it and all that shit. Oop, sorry. Not a kid's video, though. Okay. I think we're ready. Um, You know, if I were to tip it a little bit... You can see the liquid like rises up to the hole. So if I were to keep tipping it, it would spill out. Um, okay, the problem here is they will. There's like a lip that they can fall under. So that's the trouble. <clears throat> is there any way? anything I think uh, I think they'll be okay if they start dying that would be a shame but they, they've got to be able to figure it out so here's what I'm gonna do I'm like is this more killer or less killer that's that's how I make my decisions with the butterflies like is this more likely for the butterflies to die or less was this a good I, I don't I still don't know everybody I can't tell if it was a good decision or not it's just like if I were to leave the plate alone like I want to they wouldn't be able to climb it up, but they can definitely climb the paper towel. So I think it's worth the risk. And the paper towel will hold the water, which is what I want. I do 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 do. So I'm going to put my headset down and sneak this in really quickly. Oh, goodness. They're already starting to get out. Hold on. Goodness. I don't need to take the headset off. I can keep talking. So, um, the butterflies fly around a lot. So, oh, I'm itchy, itchy nose. Um, yeah, when you're moving stuff around, like, do your best to not. Oh, goodness, that's like a better view. Maybe I should have kept it there the whole time. And then if I tilt it up, you can even see. Um, look at that. If I were to turn the light off for a second, you can see up top, that's where they were hanging out like the whole time, but they were also flying. Um, and then there's all of those little buggers down there. And yeah, as they come out here in the morning, I move them into there where that is where they have been since yesterday and today so that's literally like two days worth because the first day they were had water um no the first day okay this is day three the first night the first day they came out no i don't know i think i always give them at least a little bit of water you know something to to suck on <laughs> so let's put the light back on so I'm gonna try to slip this into there without squishing anybody the question is do I put it on top of the paper towels yes that's what I'm doing la 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 oh my goodness who's under there 
Ugh. All right, I set it down, and that's like the hardest part. So let's just uh, put you on the roof. Okay, so it's in the enclosure, and we didn't squish anybody. Hooray! Now we just got to manipulate it so that it's sitting on the bottom. Um, and there's nothing for them to get stuck on. There's nothing for them to be trapped under. Do, 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 do. I don't know. I think this might be a bad idea. Okay, so I'm pulling, I'm pulling out the paper towel that was underneath it because it was just pushing this stuff up. Which is the opposite of what I want. Okay, so. Now that this is there, I'm just very concerned. <laughs> um, I think I was dumb because I just remembered that uh, the reason why I tape it down is because it's freaking now that I just put it down. Uh, it's being pushed up, so it's like, dang, um, so I am, I'm going to tape it down just a little bit. Man, oh, freaking well. You think, you want things to be perfect, and you have an idea of the way that, ooh, they're supposed to go, but, you know, things always happen the way that they're supposed to, or, I don't know, some blah. So, I guess I'm going to be forced to tape it down a little bit. And then, as for the paper towels, like, you know what? At this point, it's literally going to be the only thing in the enclosure. So, it's like, if they can't find it, I can't imagine it being any harder than it was last year. Like, the Velcro was good, but... I don't think I need it, so I don't I don't want to use it yet. So I just tear oops, that's too big of a piece, but oh well. I just use uh, little rectangles. I just want everything to be perfect, everybody. This is like my how-to video, but then once the butterflies are all together, um, I like to do like little music videos of, you know, you get to watch them feeding. So that's just a lot. It's like a, you know, a good time for everybody. Once again, we want to make the food, the liquid diet, as accessible ooh, as possible and minimize. It's like baby proofing. Like when you have a baby, you got to baby proof the house because otherwise every single thing turns into a death trap. You know, it's like, oh, the socket killed your baby. The bathtub killed your baby. Um, You know, so... Lay, left you left poison out people do it there's all types of poison killed your baby but on a more positive note sorry I didn't mean to go there um, but it's true I mean that's if if you want I wouldn't recommend everyone go out and get butterflies I would say just leave them I would say if you really like butterflies start with the plants that the butterflies like because otherwise there's literally like no way that you can give them a good life even even with these butterflies I will eventually put a plant in there with them because then they can start laying the eggs and have a full life uh, I mean I want I want more eggs they don't have to lay eggs to have a full life but having a plant is is a, just a natural thing for them I mean a butterfly without being in the window and they can't sun themselves it's like 
it's not a good life. <laughs> so we have taped it down. We have taped the plates down. So now it is attached. It is like not going anywhere. Do 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 do. I'm taking just one paper towel this time. It was everything was getting too complicated. See, the trouble is, is that it's just this big wonky mess. What would happen if I ripped one side? I'm probably, ugh, I don't want to do that. I just, I don't like how wrinkled it's getting. Grrr, everybody. Um, what can I use other than cutting up a whole sweater? I'm literally thinking about like cutting up a shirt. I'm going to do it. <laughs> what kind of shirt should I cut up? Just a white one, I guess. There's some over there. Um, and then who's to say that that wouldn't be wrinkled just like this is, though? If I were to lay it all flat, is there any chance that it could be flat? How are they going to climb up? Do I need the Velcro? Hmm, 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 hmm. It's like not so bad if there was something to weigh it down. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put rocks in there or something. Because that's what I got. And if they get stuck under the rock, then like, oh my goodness, what am I going to do? I can't have anything with you, little buggers. <laughs> um, This one was stuck to its chrysalis, so we actually saved it. So, now that the food is back in there... Is it good enough? Is it good enough, everybody? These rocks aren't going to weigh it down. There's like nothing here. What would it look like if I did this, everybody? <laughs> so this is just, I guess, the end product. No, I mean. Actually, that's not so bad. I just really want... Oh, my goodness. How cool would it be if he, find, if he found it right now? Come on, you're so close. Oh, goodness, he's so close. <gasps> what if he found it right away? That would be a miracle. I could probably even help it a little bit. <gasps> he's still... He's so close. He's so close. Go for it. Come on, little guy. <gasps> do it, do it, do it, do it. He found it. Oh, my God. He found it already. He found it already. We made it so easy that it was like a magnet. We did it. Oh my goodness, I'm getting goosebumps. Uh he's drinking he's drinking right now. Um so snaps everybody. Snap snap snap. That is how oh goodness, the freaking wire is in the way. La 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 la. How exciting is this? That was in there for like 10 seconds and he found it so okay i'll give you a play-by-play -play. he was walking along and he was just like they're like trunks um like an elephant and he they just like they walk along and they they tap 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 and they and they just he's still going they drink when they find when they find food especially gatorade that's probably the best thing that he's ever drank in his whole life um oh my goodness Ah. Let's get for a, Oh, is he done? Did we miss it? Close up. Oh my goodness. I'm so freaking excited, guys. That was like <gasps> Oh, okay, there we go. I shut the light off for a second. Um Oh my freaking god, guys. The fo it was it was in there for like 10 seconds. So, um now that it knows where the food is, 
It's going to remember that. Oh my goodness, I'm so freaking excited. It works, everybody. It works, it works, it works. It works, it works, it works, it works. Um, Check this out. Ugh, look at that. You can't even see it because it's against the light. The lighting is really bad. But, um, oop, he's done. Is he going to go back for more? He's going back for more. Uh, if it works once, it's an accident. But if it works twice... Um, then it, it really works. Um, oh my goodness. He's going up, he's going down, he's going for more. Um, and that's literally the one, okay, so you can see his little butt is red. Um, that's the one that we said we saved. Oh my goodness. And look, these guys are stuck together on their little booties. So that means that they mated. And when they mate, um, the male, you know, Sticks himself to the female. Oh, goodness. Look, it's still drinking. Up, oh, it's done. He's looking for more. Going back in. Going for more. Watering hole. Watering hole. Okay, so yeah, his butt is red because sometimes um, they, like, eject their fluid too early or something. Or just it gets, you know, for whatever reason, they're still inside the chrysalis when they're fluid ejection process goes off look he goes out and he goes back in for more because he understands outside the yellow that's not food and then he goes back to the hole and he's like that's food so now it's investigating because they're like really curious creatures i love butterflies and this is how i knew it was going to work because i've spent all summer watching them so this is my second year for anyone who's like just dropping in this is my second year working with butterflies this is a painted lady it's kind of it's the cheapest that's why i went with it and it was like literally the only thing that i could get in the mail so easily basically from amazon um so yeah look you can watch uh, as it goes walking around um just kind of curiously testing out its environment like like I said before, they've got little crab claws, um, so that's what their feet and hands are. That can also taste stuff. So um, <clears throat> if you've got a sponge or even a paper towel and you spray it with Gatorade, um, if they're standing on it and you and you spray them with the water, that's kind of what I was doing before. It's like have them on something absorbent which may have the food on it and if they're not eating it yet spray them either with the nectar or with water i use water because otherwise they'll get sticky and that's the only thing um otherwise you can get them wet they're not they're not like tissue paper they won't dissolve you know um they like to take showers and they like to sunbathe. So uh, they're such proud little creatures. They strut, 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 strut. Um, they investigate their surroundings. And eventually, if they're smart enough, they'll find food sources. Like, look at this guy. What if he goes for food, too? Um, he's not looking for food, though. You can tell because they'll furl and unfurl their little proboscis. So, I mean, guys, it can't get any better than that. Um, we got it all on camera. So, uh, 10 seconds in, I put the food in for 10 seconds and they've never, he's never seen this before. Like, um, he's kind of wonky. Sorry. Um, you can start to tell the difference between them if you spend enough time. But, um, <clears throat> Yeah, he would have died because he was stuck to the chrysalis. It was like he got everything out except for his little butt, which was stuck. So I took a chance because, again, working with them, you can sometimes injure them. But I grabbed him by the wings um, and I gently tugged, tugged, tugged. Um, you don't want to overdo it because you can rip them apart. But um, he slid out and that was it. So um, 
I'm so glad I saved its life because now I've got a little teacher. You can teach the others. Um, do, 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 do. What's it look like from back here? From back here, you can see all... There was what, like, how many? I counted. There was at least 20 in there. And then... Um, that is a hummingbird feeder that, again, I cut the edges off. There was a rim. I cut the rim off. And then I had a paper plate. I cut the center out of the paper plate. I put that over it. I taped it down so that it wasn't, there was nothing popping up or anything moving around. And then I put the paper towel on top of that because that is like Velcro for them. They can just, uh, you know, they need something to grab onto. They're, they're used to plants that have little hairs and, and hooks on them. So, um, that's why I chose to, oh, it stinks. I want you guys to see what they look like. But it's like either through a screen or against against a very powerful light because the sun always makes a bad angle. I am. Yeah. So anyways, so that is my story. I learned how to make a butterfly feeder. Um, <clears throat> I guess I would I would describe myself as like an inventor or a dreamer, whatever, a problem solver. Uh, I just wanted to find a way to feed a large amount of butterflies. Like this hummingbird feeder can feed a 100 butterflies for a week, and I don't even have to open the screen anymore. The only time I ever do is when I'm putting plants in there for them to lay their eggs on. And I'm not even going to do that yet because... Uh, at least for the next couple of days, I just want that to be the only thing that they see. Um, last year, the Velcro worked because, uh, again, I made it like a circle. There, It was just very attractive. It was like a magnet. Um, I wanted it to be like a labyrinth. Any way you walk is forwards. And I wanted it to just, you know, if they're walking on it, it would lead them to the food. Um this enclosure is so small that if you walk in any direction, it's like a circle and you will wind up back at this spot. So um, I think what I might do is spray the paper towel with water because I do want them to stay hydrated. Uh, but once they reach that Gatorade, man, they're never going to forget it. And once they see each other doing it, that's it. So, uh, you know, there's really nothing else to show you guys because none of them know how to use it yet. But give it a day or two and I'm going to put more butterflies in this enclosure as they come out over the next couple of days. Uh, I would say we're at about half capacity. We can probably get at least another 10 or 15 butterflies in here and the more butterflies in there the better chances we have of, of uh, them learning how to use the feeder and teaching others and then uh, yeah then we don't have to keep doing this you know season by season if I can just continue the cycle of butterflies I won't have to, t to teach them how to do this every single time and then maybe we can get more creative um, with where we put them and how we use them but right now I just want it as simple as possible so once again that's my story of how I take care of my painted ladies in large numbers and with very minimal effort at all um, I'm probably not gonna go through the trouble of hanging up more chrysalises because you don't even you can't even get good footage if they um, I mean unless you can see how some are darker than the others like you can clearly see how some are like almost black and the others are like a light tan some of them are empty like that one's empty um so the empty ones are like transparent but the darker ones means that they're going to come out basically tomorrow I'm gonna say tomorrow there's gonna be one two three four five six seven eight nine at least nine more just on this board 
and then that's not counting the other enclosures which have like another hundred no mm, I would say another at least 50 more um, so we've got the milkweed this is milkweed uh, which is popping up in my my on the block one of my neighbors has it popping up through the lawn so as it pop as it po as it pokes through the lawn I grab it and I rip it out and then I put it in water like so and hopefully it will sprout roots and I will put it in the dirt and have more last that's what I did last year um and the plants died and I was so sad but they all grew back this year and not only did they grow back but when you have a plant like milkweed in the dirt um it's got these things called rhizomes which are roots that reach out and then pop up more plants so um people say be careful planting milkweed because it's hard to get rid of like if you if you start ripping up the stalks like this it'll only encourage it to grow more stalks because the plant is really the roots in the dirt um so that's really cool I've got an extra Gatorade. I kind of got them just for video and presentation. Once again, those stains are not Gatorade. I need to learn the name of the fluid, but uh, yeah. We've got... See, from, from this angle, you can see there's like a million butterflies in there. So um, I'll turn the light off again just for a, a good show. Um, you know... Look at all those butterflies. And they climb to the top because they're right by the window. So they get fresh air and a breeze and, and light. And then if they ever fall down to the bottom, they've got this great feeder. Um, excuse me. So, yeah, that's my video. I didn't intend this to be an hour-long video. I thought I was just going to do like a five-minute thing. But, uh, yeah, the sun's going down, and if you don't feed your butterflies, they will die. Um, I'm not going to go crazy trying to make sure that every single one is feeding three times a day, but they're kind of like uh, like sports cars, you know? You just fill up with gas and take off. So that's literally what they do. They'll, they'll drink for two three minutes five six minutes at a time um i just love watching them they're so freaking cute they're you know i had all this time and i decided that this this is really possible you know people told me oh no you can't keep butterflies you have to let them go and i'm like I mean, I could let them go, but they'll just die. In fact, that's how this started in the first place. Um, with my swallowtails last year and um, with the monarchs, I know I got the painted ladies in the mail and they're really good practice butterflies, but the real butterflies that I was working with were... I mean, I guess all butterflies. It's all outside, um, so... I can't wait to grow more milkweed. There's no milkweed suppliers anywhere because as soon as anyone has any, it's gone because you feed it to the milkweed to the to the monarch caterpillars. Um, so I'm just glad that it's such an easy plant to grow. It's like hard to kill it. So I'm just so freaking. I can't believe we got footage of it feeding like 10 seconds in so maybe maybe i'll just have you guys if you want like skip ahead to that point instead of me building it but yeah watch my butterfly feed there's no one else using it how boring um if i check in tomorrow there's probably gonna be like at least three or four butterflies feeding at the same time and they usually fight over the same flower um yeah, that's another thing. Some of the other hummingbird feeders only had maybe like four or five flowers max, but this one has nine or ten. Um, so, you know, just we would just want to increase our chances of success. That's literally the name of the game. And uh, yeah, next time I'll, uh, I don't know, I'll
I'll, sh I'll teach you guys more stuff or I'll show you more stuff or we can live stream once they feed. Once, once it's more interesting and they learn how to use the feeder, I'm going to hook up like a live stream and, and some non-copyrighted music and we'll just have a little jam sesh. Okay, I mean, don't forget to like and subscribe uh, if you like what you see. Our mission, Butterfly Square Garden's mission, is the Butterfly Initiative, and we just want to make more butterflies in the world. Um, it's a butterfly sanctuary. That's what I was saying before. Um, that's how I got into this. I saved some caterpillars from a thunder. No. Yeah, both times. I brought in the swallowtail caterpillars off of my dill. I was talking about that in the last video when I hung up the... If you want to hear more about my story, look in the video where I hung up the chrysalis because I told you guys like everything. But um, I had swallowtail caterpillars on my dill, brought them in, saved their lives from a thunderstorm and from animals. Animals were going to eat them. And then same thing with the monarch butterfly eggs, brought them in. They were going to get crushed during a thunderstorm, which they did. Sometimes they're gone. Same thing with the milkweed. I waited to see how my neighbor treated them, and he just mowed them over. So um, now I just poke them up. I pull them up when they're poking through his lawn, and no one knows any... I mean, I'm sure it helps him because I'm helping him weed, and it's helping me because I'm getting more milkweed. So it's just so beautiful. I just I can I can look at this stuff and talk about this stuff all day but um, I don't know I want to post a video and update you guys because anyone who watched me hang up all of the chrysalis are probably wondering how they're doing and now we have proof that that's how they're doing they can feed right there I, I can't believe that it found that was that was a miracle. That was like God or someone. Some that was nature making fun of me. It's like I knew I'd seen it with its little proboscis out. I'd seen the behavior. I knew exactly what was gonna happen. So it was just like, you know, and sometimes you just know something is gonna happen. Um, yep. I keep saying goodbye. That's something that I do. Peace out, everybody. World peace. Um. We're trying to build a community, so I would really love to get to know more about you. Um, there's no way that anyone other than me is watching this video, at least for another hundred years. Um, <laughs> uh, when I first started making videos, I would joke around about how this was really for um, the artificial intelligence to to watch and and you know use as a template when they're mimicking human behavior so if you ever get a robot in the future that behaves like me just know that it's because i've got like hundreds of hours of footage of me just talking about nothing la, 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 la. oh goodness they're so cute and there's so many of them i just it's a lot of work taking care of caterpillars but it's worth it you know that's literally all that i can say so i wouldn't recommend it for everyone but um, I want to get kids involved and weddings and just world peace. They they fertilize. I mean, um, they pollinate flowers and they do all the good stuff. They feed. They're good bird food. Um, but they're really important for the ecosystem. Can you believe that there's so many? Um, we've been I've been taking care of caterpillars for a long time. Um, but it's so worth it. Not to say that I like butterflies more than caterpillars. I might even like chrysalis the most. But no, I think I like butterflies the most. Um, so the sun's finally going down. And I'm going to end the video because I'm just going to make another one tomorrow. And for anyone who is expecting a drawing video, we can do that too. And we're also going to do some yogas and some more planting videos. So that's it. I'm I'm tired of saying goodbye. <laughs> bye Jason bye everybody bye 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 it's been fun I'm so glad I got to show you guys the butterfly feeding um, that was a miracle I can't believe we got it feeding so fast next time it'll be like 10 of them so yep that's it peace out bye bye thanks